And you can see the one V heading up Brewer. I missed them. Um, rowing in this boat, we have Colin Silvers in the one seat. Jack Kianaga is rowing two. Homer Hervey's in the third seat. Tom Vasquez is in the fourth. Joe Johnson's in the fifth. Kristen Tabash is rowing in the sixth seat. Richard Hurdy's in the seven. Brian Kilmer is stroking the boat. It's Cox by Woods Connell. They will be in the last race of the day, rowing for the Foley Cup. You can see Gonzaga and St. Albans lined up there, ready to go for the Foley Cup. Always a hotly contested race. St. Albans has come on out on top the past few years. It should be exciting. And they are on the water. Zog on the left, St. Albans on the right. Picked it up. We're going to be settling into a groove here momentarily. You know, Albans usually looks to establish a lead first, and Gonzaga stalks. They're both underneath the bridge, moving smartly. Zaga just popped out. And Albans is also out. And they are already done with about a third of this race. Zaga looks pretty good. It's hard to see from this angle what the uh, boat's ahead. Steadily. You can see both boats there. They're coming up on about halfway down the course. It's still anybody's race. within a boat of each other. Yeah, Gonzaga looks like it might be up here. Definitely over halfway done. It would be a preview of what we might see at Stotesbury this year. like Gonzaga may have pulled up a little bit. And uh, St. Albans is trying to answer now. Looks like Gonzaga is up, up by a boat. We we're coming into the final third of the race. Zaga looks strong. But St. Albans is not giving up. And here they come into the final third of the race. Final 300 meters. It's Gonzaga, but St. Albans is making a move. 
pouring it on here. Gonzaga just went behind the pillar. You can see St. Albans is trailing right back there. There's only about 100 meters left after they come out underneath this Pennsylvania Avenue bridge. And there is Gonzaga, the purple oars. And the crowd. And the shadow there. They're looking good. Got him by open water. An impressive first race of the season for Gonzaga. I have to feel good about this one. As the Foley Cup returns to Gonzaga. difference was about one and a half to two boat lengths. Well, that was impressive. <laughs> you guys will make Frank and Leo proud. <laughs>